When I came up with this recipe, I wanted to highlight, number one, the green sorrel, the beautiful back notes of like lemon, green apple is in this, and it's just so vibrant. And then again, for the clams, it's this beautiful broth full of garlic and shallots that yeah, we have a little bit of butter as well. What's going on guys? Chef Eric Adjapong here, culinary advisor for Bowery Farmings, here to make this beautiful clams and this amazing green sorrel and garlicky sauce that we have. I cannot wait to show you this dish. So we'll get into it, show you guys how to knock this out. If you do not have sorrel in season, totally fine. Do not fret. We can always use a little bit of basil, but really, I mean, sorrel has this such a unique kind of flavor profile. So I'll add probably a little bit of lemon, maybe a little bit of lemon zest to kind of get that pungency and that like that bitter or sour back note. So we have our boiling water. I'm just gonna go ahead and add our beautiful sorrel greens right on over to this strainer right here. And this is a really nice way to blanch really quickly. It keeps everything nice and in place. And we're doing this for like seven seconds, really quick. You wanna get a little bit of that color out and then we go straight into the ice bath and we want to chill this immediately and we'll let that sit. What's nice about using this strainer is that we can just lift up just like that. Everything's in its place and we'll take this little spider just kind of squeeze out any excess water that might be captured in the sorrel. So we'll take the sorrel, we're going to go ahead and just put it straight into the blender and then get ready for the garlic cream base. Really simple when it comes to these ingredients. We have some beautifully diced shallots and garlic. I love the combination of shallots and garlic. I think shallots give you that beautiful pungency that you're looking for when you're looking for like a, an onion flavor. We have some butter right here, a couple of tablespoons. We're gonna melt this. So go ahead and add in our shallots right now. Just sweating out these shallots and the butter. It's really an undefeated mix. And I like to start off with the shallots first just because it has a lot more integrity than the garlic, right? You don't want the garlic burning. You can see that the shallots are turning nice and translucent. Let's go ahead and add in some of this garlic. And once you get to this stage, you start to see that everything is really like nice and translucent. Then we go ahead and add in our heavy cream. Boom. And continue to whisk that in. Take a little bit of salt and that's really it. Nice and warm. We're gonna go ahead and pour this back into the blender. And now we blend. Beautiful. I got the color that I'm looking for. I got the consistency that I'm looking for. So guys, now that our sorrel and cream sauce is now complete, let's uh, talk about the ingredients that we need for actual clams, right? So we have these beautiful little necks that have been soaking in some salt water for about 20 minutes. What I really like about soaking clams in water, it just kind of helps uh, remove some of the dirt and sand that might be in the clams and get captured in there. Dry them out, they're good to go. So then we also have some white wine, some chicken stock, garlic, shallots, and more butter. So we're just reinforcing those flavors again uh, when we're actually cooking these clams. So it looks like we are ready to go. I got my beautiful cast iron over here. We're going right above medium high. And I'm gonna start off with that butter. You wanna go ahead and melt that. Same style like we did with our garlic cream. Go ahead and melt that butter. We're gonna go ahead and add in our shallots now. We want to cook this down nice and beautifully, right? Same deal, same rules apply. Shallots are looking good. I can smell all of that. And that's really another note too. You want to use all your senses. It's not just your eyes and your taste buds, right? You want to use your nose. I'm going to go ahead and add in our garlic now. I like to add a touch of salt here. Not only adds to the flavor, but helps draw out that moisture. This is really like one of those perfect dishes. I add in my clams and I like to saute them up in the butter and the garlic just a little bit. Get a little bit of heat on it before we go ahead and add in our liquid. And after about 20 seconds or so, I'm really just kind of cooking the clams in that beautiful garlic shallot butter that we have. Then we go ahead and add in our liquids. I have that white wine that we'll add in right here. I also have this chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock available, you can always use veg stock. And now we're looking to just cook these clams in this beautiful chicken stock, white wine, butter, shallot, garlic. We're gonna put the lid on really quickly. Allow for these clams to steam out appropriately. It doesn't take long, honestly. You know, the clams that don't come out or are not as open as the others, we'll just discard them, you know, really simple. Our clams are done. We're gonna remove this beautiful lid. Look at all that steam. Just a little nice handy note for anybody doing this dish. I like to remove the clams out. 
It's gonna make life a lot easier when we're mixing in our sorrel cream. All right, smells fantastic. That white wine is just hitting my nose so intensely. I love it. We have our sorrel garlic cream sauce right here. We're just gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I like to just whisk all that in. Then we can go ahead and add in our clams. Right back in. Clams have been answered. I'm gonna go ahead and just season just a little bit of lemon juice. And now we taste. Touch of salt. Now it's time to plate. Like, look how beautiful this is. White wine, garlic, butter, heavy cream, shallots. And we're just gonna get all in there to not be bashful. Now that our clams have been beautifully plated, we'll just take a little bit of sorrel, garnish it up a little bit, get a little bit of color. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these clams. Delicious as is, but if you wanted to add some more stuff and kind of make it your own way, definitely add some bacon, chorizo, serve this up with a beautiful salad. I have some crusty bread right here. You can always dip in, you know what I mean, just like that. I want you to try this out, enjoy it, have fun, and don't make it too fussy, right? This is really simple, straightforward flavors, straightforward ingredients, and just make it yours. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you wanna check this recipe out. In addition to my other recipes, we have our chamula and this beautiful salmon frittata with arugula and pesto. Hit the subscribe button so you guys can check that out as well.